friends in this session we will understand interfacing the hc05 module with arduino after listening this session you will have a clear idea about how do we use hc05 for building an application along with arduino how to transmit data from arduino to bluetooth in a serial communication fashion how to visualize the data in arduino and bluetooth serial Let's build a messaging application using HC05 and Arduino Uno. Creating an application. In the last session, we have seen how exactly to connect HC05 module to Arduino Uno. In this session, let us create a small messaging application using HC05 and Arduino, which can chat between the Arduino and mobile through Bluetooth as the communication channel. we are exactly building a messaging service but it uses bluetooth as the underlying technology the message sent from arduino serial monitor will be displayed in bluetooth terminal which is in the mobile actually the message sent from the bluetooth terminal will be displayed in the arduino serial monitor so this is an exact chat application how do we create it it's very simple and interesting before we go on building the code and uploading it we need to give the connections so here is the connection diagram in front of you for your reference if you are using serial software library in coding the arduino then you will have to follow this connections in the arduino the 5 volt pin has to be connected to vcc pin of the hc05 module the ground pin of arduino should be connected to the ground pin of hc05 the two of arduino should be connected to rxt the pin number 4 should be connected to txt of hc05 the connections are simple please follow the same procedure as we have presented in the connection diagram right in front it's coding time once the connections between the hc05 and arduino uno are established we will have to write the code we have used the software serial library for creating virtual serial interface the rx pin tx pin variables are used for storing the new rx and tx digital pin numbers initialize a software serial class variable for creating this virtual serial interface here we have used bt serial as a variable bt serial in the bracket with rx underscore pin comma tx underscore pin as arguments makes digital pin 4 as the new rx pin and digital pin 2 as a new tx pin the code is simple and is presented in front of you rx underscore pin and tx underscore pin are the two variables which represent the digital pin 2 and 4 now the string variables arduino underscore data and bt underscore data are to be used to store the data to be sent from the arduino module and the data coming from the bluetooth module respectively serial dot begin is used for serial communication of arduino uno bt serial dot begin is used for starting the serial communication of the bluetooth module we can see the same things which are conveyed right now in the code as well the setup part will help you in setting up the baud rate as well as you can see the communication is started with the hc05 using the baud rate 9600 The code snippet given below is for receiving the data from the mobile to the Arduino via HC05 Bluetooth module. As you know, the BT serial dot available function continuously checks whether any information is available in the Bluetooth serial for receiving. The moment any information becomes available, the BT serial dot reach string stores the string in the BT data and serial dot println is used. for printing the received data in the arduino's serial monitor this process is similar to the task done by a security guard in front of an office he keeps on looking for the arrival of a person as soon as a person enters he receives him and opens the gate this is the same principle that we follow in this approach you can see the code in front of you and the code is what we have explained just before few seconds we keep reading the data and the moment we receive the data we allow it similarly we need to receive the data from arduino serial and write it onto the bluetooth serial so that it can be printed 
on the Bluetooth terminal, which is nothing but HC05's serial monitor. Remember, in our Arduino code, the Bluetooth serial interface is BT serial, while Arduino serial interface is serial. This should not be forgotten. So, for sending the data from the Arduino serial to the Bluetooth serial, just reverse the serial interfaces in the previous code, which means the Arduino underscore data is used for storing the Arduino serial data. Serial dot available is used for checking any data is present in the transmission in the Arduino serial. BT serial dot println is used for printing the received Arduino serial data in the Bluetooth serial. So it is pretty much similar, but a mild change is what we have done. We are reading the data from Arduino serial monitor and we are sending it across to the HC05. The sending and receiving data. Now click on the upload in the Arduino IDE to program the microcontroller. Once it is programmed, open the Bluetooth terminal HC05 application in the mobile phone that is previously downloaded and installed. The installation has to be done step by step and once it is all done, once the device gets paired, we are all ready to go with the data transmission using the Arduino and the Bluetooth module. You can see the diagrammatic representation in front of you which tells you that the HC05 to Bluetooth terminal app communication happens through Bluetooth. And you can see the connection creation procedure here in front of you. The moment you complete the installation, you can go for scanning and there will be devices which are displayed, which are paired but not connected. And the moment you click on it, you can enable the connection. And once connected, you can see the status as connected to HC05 underscore S1, which is the name of the paired device. If it has not been already paired, you need to enable pairing as well. And now from the source, you can send, hey, this is my phone. And the same has been received in the COM4, which is nothing but the Arduino's serial monitor. Here, the message has been sent from the mobile phone to the Arduino. And the vice versa is being performed right now. I'm sending a message from the serial monitor of Arduino to the mobile phone, which has the Bluetooth terminal app installed. You can see that it is all perfectly done. Enough of theory. We will see the demo right now, which will let you understand things much better. Thank you. Here, you can see that the connections are made with the Bluetooth HC05 module to the Arduino board. The connections are already explained in the PPT and it is very easy for you to connect. Just follow the guidelines as we have given you earlier. Now you can see that there is some blinking that is happening here, which is an intimation that it is active, but yet to be paired. Once the pairing has happened, the blinking rate will be changed and you can visualize it. And once the code is all burnt into this Arduino board and once everything is set, the communication can be made from this serial monitor to the mobile phone and vice versa. Means it would be like a chat application literally where you can talk from your mobile phone to here or here to your mobile phone. And that's accomplished through the Bluetooth. We are going to pair our equipment with the mobile phone. Now, once it is paired, you can start communicating from here to there. You can see that in the mobile phone, I'm going to type something which will be reflected immediately in the serial monitor of my computer. Hey, this is my phone has been sent from here and it has been received right there in the screen. And from the serial monitor, I'm sending something right now. Hello, this is Arduino. And once it is sent, you can see that it should be received here in the phone. Yes, it has been received. So it is the communication that has happened from the mobile phone through the app to the laptop or the computer and from the computer to the mobile phone back. And this is all done through the Bluetooth HC05 module. It's a very simple application, yet we have got so many application scenarios we can develop with the same setup.